up guys welcome back to another video well it's sunday and i'm making my rounds up at the flea market um you know i was trying to leave the house and the woman was like you know let's go for a hike and let's go uh, bike riding i'd rather go bike riding than go hiking honestly but you know i was like well let me let me get down to the flea market it's gonna be two hours you know so i gotta you know when you get my age you gotta fight with your woman you know, if you have a significant other of any sort to try to get out of the house on the weekend and now that i'm working a lot more um i just don't have time like i did you know a couple weeks ago but you know anyway i'm gonna go down the flea market but uh, right now i want to talk about that turbo graphics mini because you know yes i did pre-order it um i did pre-order it before i heard there was going to be that hold up on the uh you know because of the virus whatever that thing will come out eventually that whole virus thing is just a it's the weather there's manipulating the public with the media so i'm not too worried about that but there is some interesting things I want to talk about with that Turbo Graphics Mini. So the first thing that I think about is the fact that it can play Sapphire. That's like the first thing that I that really jumped out to me, and that, that tells me a few things. The first thing it tells me is that that mini console is built to emulate uh, Turbo CD games or PC Engine CD-ROM to System 2. The you know the CD games for the Turbo Graphics 16 and the PC Engine. I know it can it can emulate those. And since it does Sapphire, I know it does. It has the arcade card or the arcade. Do I know that uh, Sapphire will run off two different versions of the arcade card. There's like the Duo card, and then there's the arcade card. And I think the arcade card's like a hundred dollars, and yeah, they're kind of expensive. Both of them are, you, you know, one's like fifty and one's like a hundred. But you know, just to play a game, that's kind of crazy and you know it's just like a couple of games it's not like it, it's a ton of games so you know the fact that they're coming out with an officially licensed product that can emulate that is amazing and i can't wait to see what happens when they bust the thing wide open which will probably happen days after that thing releases because that's what always happens happen with the super nintendo the nintendo the playstation the genesis they all get busted open and nintendo nintendo didn't really seem to take that much of a I'm sure they're against people modding and busting their systems wide open. They always have been, but it didn't really seem like it was that big of a thing when it happened in Nintendo consoles, and that's great because they're the biggest sticklers, you know, when it comes to that kind of thing. But all right, I got the, T the Turbo 16, you know, pre-ordered, whatever. It might come out next year, like like it's a strictly limited limited run game, you know. I don't know, but I do think I'm going to get the Genesis Mini, I think I'm going to get the Super Nintendo Mini, and I think I'm going to get the PlayStation Mini, and the PlayStation Mini really interests me, because it, for one, it's $40, it comes with two controllers, and you can put RetroArch on it, because it, it must have a little, you know, a beefier processor, it's got to do more than, you know, just, you know, 8 and 16-bit games, it's a 32-bit system, so I, you know, it's, it's got to have some kind of infrastructure to at least do a 32-bit system, and I did hear somebody say they had, like, a uh, a Dreamcast emulator up on that thing and running. He said the frame rate was super low, so I guess it doesn't run that well. But I mean, for a forty dollars system, if it does anything more than just PlayStation, even if it's just existing PlayStation games in different regions and systems that came out previous to that one, I mean, that's pretty amazing. But yeah, that Turbo Graphics sixteen system, you know, the fact that it can do the arcade card CD games. You know, what does that mean? That means that when they do bust it wide open, it should be able to run, you know, anything. It should be everything you throw at it. So, essentially, what I want is a full ROM set, you know, North American uh, and Japanese on the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. And those of you that know me love, I like the shooters, you know, I like the import games. Like, you guys know that if you watch my channel. So, why didn't I get the PC Engine Mini? Well, there's a reason I didn't get the PC Engine Mini. So the TurboGrafx-16 Mini was actually a, a game, that, that, that I, a system that I played as a kid. Not a lot, but I had this babysitter, right? This babysitter, I guess, would, when my parents would leave, she would like to make out with her boyfriend or whatever. And so, like, she would take me to her boyfriend's house or if my mom dropped her off at her house, like, when everyone would leave, like, she would have her boyfriend over. And the boyfriend was cool. He was cool, so it wasn't a big deal. I never told on her. I never snitched, nothing like that. But the boyfriend had a TurboGrafx-16, and I remember playing a couple different, he had a couple different bonks. He had like Bonk 1 and 2, and he might have had Bonk's Big Adventure. I th I'm pretty sure there was a Hue Card version of that game. But, um, you know, just seeing this giant sprites, you know, on the screen, you know, especially on Bonk's Big Adventure, I was like, damn, this game is, or this system is awesome. And, you know, I guess they weren't called Hue Cards. Uh, they were called Turbo Chips, I guess, here in the U.S. But I remember seeing these, like, little credit card-sized games, and I was just like, wow, I can't, you know, my, my Nintendo cartridges are maybe at the time, I don't know, if, uh, maybe I had, an, yeah, I had a Nintendo at that time. But I remember the Nintendo cartridges, you know, they're like, 
like this big and the turbo cartridges are like literally a credit card size um so I, I thought that was pretty amazing i was like you know what is this witchcraft but yeah i'm really excited for that turbo graphic 16 mini um you know i'm kind of holding off i was going to buy a couple of pc engine games um and i i still might there's, there's a few cd games that i still might get but you know, I just know in the back of my head, you know, soon I got the thing pre-ordered and someone's going to bust it wide open and it's going to be as simple as loading, you know, a thumbstick full of files and loading it right into a USB port. You know, it's probably going to be that simple. But anyways, guys, love to hear what you guys got going on this week. Uh, I am headed to the flea market right now, so if I find anything at the end of the video, you know, I'll let you know. But, you know, we'll see. You know, I'm not really going down there with any expectations other than I just want to leave the house for a few hours. You know, get a little peace and serenity because I'm not working today. And then, you know, go home and I guess go on a hike or, you know, a bike ride or whatever. Which should be fun, you know, hang out with the family. But anyways, guys, till next time, peace out. Unless I find something at the flea market, then I'll show you what I find. So I didn't find anything at the flea market, but I did get this at GameStop, Code Vein. I heard this is a good game. I'll play it a little bit today, let you know. If not, I'll probably sell it to somebody. But Code Vein, let's see. Oh yeah, I got it at my PlayStation. Um, no manual or anything, so that kind of sucks. But anyway, Code Vein on the PS4. Anyways, guys, till next time. Peace out.